Thank you, everybody, very much. Good morning, and greatly appreciate you being here. We have some real experts with us, and we have some great bankers with us. Today's discussion is crucial to my job's agenda and to the American people. Community banks play a vital role in helping create jobs by providing approximately half of all loans to small businesses, and that's been dwindling because the community banks have been in big trouble. Nearly half of all private sector workers are employed by small businesses. We must ensure access to capital, small businesses, and for small businesses to grow. Community banks, the backbone of small business in America, we are going to preserve our community banks. Uh, you probably noticed I signed an executive order on regulation on February 3rd, I believe it was. And that's a big executive order, a very powerful executive order. It's taking a lot of the regulation away. You'll be able to loan, you'll be able to be safe, but you'll be able to provide the jobs that we want and also create great businesses. So it's an honor to have you with us today, and perhaps we could go around the room and we'll start with Dorothy and say who you are and who you represent. Go ahead, Dorothy. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm Dorothy Savarese. I'm from Cape Cod 5 Mutual Company on Cape Cod, Massachusetts. And I'm Leslie Anderson, and I'm with the Bank of Bennington in Bennington, Nebraska. From Norman, Standard Bank, uh, suburbs of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Great. Rebecca Romero-Ganey from Sentinel Bank in beautiful Taos, New Mexico. Very good. I'm Luann Kundiff with First State Bank of St. Charles. I'm Scott Heike, Value Texas, Corpus Christi, Texas. Lori Stewart from the other Washington, Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Saperski from Chesapeake Bank from Kilmore, New Jersey. Good, thank you. And I'm Ken Burgess with First Capital Bank of Texas in Midland, Texas. Good. Good, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.